Hello everybody and welcome back to Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts. My name is Spartan Elite 43 and tonight, I know it's been a while, but we're back. We're back as the Americans trying to wrap up our campaign. Our 50 year campaign, right? No, 60, 60 year campaign uh, against all of the entire world. What up, uh, Deck? How's it going? Joshua, welcome. We got a lot to remember. So uh, it's been a couple of weeks. I do apologize that I've been gone for so long. Had a lot of crazy stuff going on in, in real life, so I haven't had a chance to really do this. Uh, but, but we are back, and that's what's important, right? So there's been a lot of updates, and I don't know what all of them are going to be entailing or anything like that, but hopefully, hopefully we can... Uh, make some progress that's our goal anyway with all of that being said we are currently at war with the italians with the spanish and with the chinese uh, and we currently have two naval invasions going on over here uh one at uh i believe it is yeah western sahara over here at bujour we're trying to take that and then of course we are trying to also invade up here it uh sardinia so we are we're trying to take territory from them there's been a lot of updates so i have no idea what's gonna what's gonna happen there obviously we've got land invasions that are gonna fail here against ethiopia for whatever reason we just don't have enough uh, army in the neighborhood to take these guys down unfortunately um but the pacific theater seems to be going kind of crazy Yo, Noriko, coming in, gifting a membership already. Appreciate you, my dude. Get some goats in the chat for Noriko. Who else we got? We got uh, Soup in the chat. We got Jordan, MRT, Layton, Toenail, Noriko, obviously, Emmy, and McVoy. How's it going? Or McVoles? Uh, yeah, so with all of that, let's jump straight into our battles over here. I have no idea what we're getting into, so we're just going to get these parties started. And Noriko dropping another gifted membership. Appreciate you, my dude. All right, so we have a whole bunch of destroyers versus a couple of destroyers. Uh, our destroyers are much larger. They have a couple of uh, small deck guns. We have quite a few deck guns. So, in theory, not only do we out outnumber these guys, but we should outgun them as well. Um, Nito, how's it going? Derek, Jaja. Appreciate everybody dropping in tonight. Make sure you guys, if you do enjoy the stream, make sure you guys punch that like button been a while so let's see what we can get into uh let's tighten up please uh we're gonna hold off on this just put everybody in the same division please Yeah, we changed we changed the uh, guitar riff a long time ago, Enrico. You've been missing in action. Will we catch up to this guy? That's the question. He's out here. What up, Mr. Fox? Jacob, how's it going? You had your newborn and she's two weeks old. Well, congrats and happy Father's Day, my dude. Hopefully, uh, the mother and the baby are both happy and healthy. Yeah, it looks like he's just running away from us. Big surprise. Uh, honestly, Mr. Fox, I have no idea, man. Um, I have been thinking about getting back into doing some other stuff, uh, but I've actually been kind of getting the hankering to play a little bit of farm sim. Uh, so if you guys want to see a little bit of farm sim, let me know. I don't know if I'm going to stream it or if I'm going to try to record it and then uh, edit it down into a video. Um, I need to start doing more editing and, and making videos because they just do better on YouTube. Your fourth child, and thanks, uh, and your second baby girl. Well, congrats, my dude. What up, Gayer? How's it going? Iowa, good to see you. 
All right, here we go. So, so far, hello. Okay, so still a little bit of delays in the uh, map, but not as bad, it seems. We've got an ambush down here. Four destroyers versus three destroyers. Okay, these guys have five-inch guns, or at least one of them has five-inch guns. And the other ones are normal. And, of course, our guys... I think these are our these are the spearfishers. Yeah, I think we should be able to take these guys pretty easily. Modded or unmodded? Definitely modded. Definitely modded farm sim. Mr. Mundane, how's it going? Appreciate you dropping in. All right, will we be able to catch up to these little turds, or will they keep running away from us? Speed up time. We've got Tiger, Power, Wally, and Booby to try to take on the enemy. Okay, they seem to be circling left to right, so we're going to try to get ahead of them here. Are we shooting AP or SAP? Yes. Semi-ballistic armor piercing at that. So we'll try that first. I feel like they're running again. Why are you running? King Swag, what up, Scott? Good to see you. Chromium, how's it going? Mr. Fox, Jaja, -Ja, good to see you guys. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm having a pretty good night. Uh, I had to get a video before... Uh, for tomorrow for you guys, for Legends. I know it's an update day, but I figure I'd get you guys a video first. Are these guys just running again? Like, come on. Give me a break. Uh, who? Okay, so power and boomy need to be... Okay, let's detach. Detach you, please. And then boomy. Detach you, please. You guys... Speed up and give me everything you got. Wait, what? Why did that happen? I swear I I took power off, right? Like we detached power. Detach. Okay, power and boomy. You guys get into your own little thing. Tiger, I need you to speed up. Let's go find him. see if we can catch up to them now they're not that far ahead of us yeah that's all we needed we just needed a little bit of extra speed didn't realize we had two different classes of destroyers here okay what is our main gun range here we're at 10 kilometers curly can only fire out to 6.8 kilometers all right, let's try to get ahead of them. We'll have you guys follow these guys. They want to run away, but I am not going to let them. You cannot escape me forever. All right, Jordan, be safe, my dude. Nice duck life. We'll be safe on your car ride, my dude. And we are closing the distance slowly. So we will be getting into a fight with these guys. 
Hopefully everybody had a great Father's Day and a great weekend. I know I've been kind of uh, distant lately in the live streams because it's been uh, kind of hectic outside of YouTube, to be honest. Been kind of hectic. But we come back. That's all that matters. Hello, William. How's it going? Billy Boots. Come on, baby. I don't know. I like how the game is like, please, please in, please in. Otherwise, we're about to lose all three of our destroyers. Please end the stream. No, not ending. I'm chasing you down like the cowards you are. You're down below eight kilometers. I'm very close to starting my engagement. Spent time with the kids. That's always good. The G56 cup car? Uh, you're asking the wrong person. I don't even know what you're talking about. I don't watch a lot of auto automotive stuff. I watch I watch a lot of like YouTube automotive stuff, but I don't watch like racing and stuff. Like I'll watch I'll watch people building cars, like uh, Tavares or um, Cletus McFarland or any of those those type of channels. Love watching that stuff. Whistling Diesel. Another funny guy, but uh, you cannot escape. We will bring you to justice. There we go. Bring him down, boys. Big hit and a flood. You toured the New Jersey yesterday? It is an absolutely amazing tour. Yeah, it's it's kind of crazy, man. It's massive. Really gives you a sense of scale of World of Warships, doesn't it? To get to actually jump on board one of the largest ships ever built in terms of battleships anyway okay down he goes all right let's wait till we get a little bit closer Currently at 6.1 kilometers. What up, Houston? How's it going? Yeah, we're back to Dreadnoughts, my guys. I'm going to try to get back into the habit of streaming more regularly other games other than World of Warships Legends. I still do my Legends stream every week, uh, but I definitely want to get back into playing some other games because I do appreciate you guys. Brendan dropping a $10 bomb on us. Sorry I don't have more to give. I'm preparing to move. Well, I appreciate you, my dude, but you don't have to. You don't have to don't know. Yeah, you got it, my dude. I appreciate you just coming in and hanging out with us. Thank you so much. Get some goats in the chat. Bravo, Foxtrot Sorry, joining us tonight as well. To give. I'm prepping for my move, but wanted to help you out. But be safe in your move, my dude, for reals. I know what it's like to have to move everything. Uh, hopefully everything goes well with the move. But, uh, yeah, you never never have to dono anything, guys. I do appreciate you guys. Uh, it does help the channel. It helps me out a lot personally. But don't put yourself in a bind just to try to help me out. I do appreciate you, though. Midnight Aurora coming in, dropping five gifted memberships. Appreciate you, man. Get some goats in the chat for him as well.
Look how all the shots are going out here instead of going at the enemy. Like, they're over there! The one shell that occasionally pops off to the left actually hits the target. You see what I'm saying? Like, you got all these going this way instead of just, like, aiming further to the left. There's another hit. You can always see it coming, too. Like, you can always see it coming. It's the one shell that pops off to the side. Here it comes. Oh, those have actually splashed on both sides. There we go. We go through so much ammo so fast. There it is. Alright, switch over to HE then. Since you're not gonna, like, try to hit the target. We got 2,000 rounds of HE that we can use. But thank you guys so much, man. You guys are absolutely awesome. And I'm glad that everybody gets a chance. What up, Jessica? How's it going? Appreciate you dropping in as well. Well, it's supposed to be percentage-based, so... Like, the further... The lower the percentage, the less likely you are to hit. But it's just funny that they always end up aiming over here. It's like, I'm sorry, but even even a dumbass gunner would be like, okay, we've been shooting over here the whole time. Let's turn it to the left a little bit. Adjust our aim. Just a little bit. Forget what kind of HE we're using. We're using high capacity. That's why they're so nasty. with the SAP. Come on. I was going to use the torpedoes here, but it looks like we're going to wipe the floor with this guy before he gets a chance. Surrenders due to high casualties. All right, switch back over to HE, please. What up, Derek? How's it going? There's one thing I think they need to improve in this game with the aiming is that when you see this this stuff where they're constantly missing off to the right of a target the same same shot every time like they need to start to like account for that and the the shells should start to track closer and closer to the enemy it shouldn't be constantly shooting off to the right of a target like you you know his his heading you know his speed you're seeing the shots are at the right distance so just walk them into the target And it doesn't matter if I go off to the left a little bit. Like, they're still not going to hit the target any more frequently. Because they're still going to be aiming off to the right. There, we got a destroyed torpedo, which you'll love to see. I'm glad that we can use the high-capacity HE as well. Like, it's pretty nasty. We're up to a 10% chance to hit now. He's lost 38%. He's almost out of... He's about to surrender due to high casualties again. Keep destroying the same torpedo over and over again, which makes no sense. The dude has, has no torpedoes left. How am I still destroying his torpedoes? 
More flooding. Is that he should be surrendering any moment. Like a couple of more hits and he should be done. There he goes. Easy fight. What up, Jonathan? How's it going? Appreciate you dropping in. Jay Witt in the chat. Good to see you as well. Uh, Brendan, my workouts are going pretty well. Um, uh, tomorrow, or today, I guess, Monday, will be squat day. So we'll get back out there and do some more squats. But uh, I, I still work out four days a week. I do squat day on Mondays. I do uh, upper body and arms day on Tuesday. Then I do deadlift day on Thursday. And then I do um, bench day and upper body on Friday. So still working out hard. Uh, still hitting new PRs a little bit at a time. Uh, on deadlift day, we hit 315 for four reps for the first time. Uh, my max deadlift currently is 325. Uh, my best squat so far has been 275 pounds. Uh, still want to try to get that to the next level, but I tried I tried to work up to it when I was feeling good a couple of weeks ago. Ended up, I, I matched my, my PR, and then I went a little too heavy. I went for 295, probably should have went for 285. Went for 295, couldn't quite pull it off after doing all of the sets up leading up to that. Um, but it was still a pretty fun fun workout. Uh, my bench for the first time, uh, I've managed to get my bench back up. We're at uh, 155 for three reps, which is tied for my best ever. Uh, but I was able to do it without hurting my shoulder for the first time, which is nice. I've been dealing with a shoulder injury uh, that's been driving me crazy since November. And finally starting to feel like I'm getting my shoulder back on track. So my bench is starting to get back up there. Uh, the goal for my my big three lifts, obviously, has been 315 for a deadlift. I've already beat that. 315 for a squat. I'm at 275, so I'm getting close. And then uh, 225 on the bench, and I'm a long ways away from that. So we got a long ways to go, but uh, we're going to keep going. Oh, my God, these destroyer battles are so annoying. So these are a Spear Fisher class and a Defiant class. So we've got two different class destroyers here. I'm just going to auto resolve this. I'm not chasing these guys down. We took heavy damage. We did some damage to them. It is what it is. Uh, I'm not going to sit here and keep fighting destroyers the entire stream. It's so bored. Look at this. Uh, at least we have some transports to shoot here too. So we'll see how this goes. Uh, our willpower class heavy cruiser should have no trouble here. So we're just going to go ahead and try to get at there. We've been spotted. Yep. Path to 50,000 subs. So yeah, we're, we're trying. Uh, it has slowed down quite a bit recently, but uh, we're going to keep going. I'm going to make a big push here in a month or two to try to uh, see what we can get away with. All right, so our destroyer. Honestly, I'm just going to have you probably follow us. Um... not have radar we have rdf and we don't have it on this okay so we do actually have to use this to find them they're off to our left so we're gonna have you just go ahead and follow the destroyer it is the fury pretty good looking heavy cruiser if i had to say so myself Uh, Thor, uh, thank you for re-upping your membership for nine months. Appreciate you. Welcome to the stream. Okay. 
Okay, what we're looking for is the transports. To be honest. Put our heavy cruiser out here in the middle of this mess. Should be shooting SAP, right? Nope, we're shooting AP. Never mind. Shit. Wasn't expecting him to go after our little freaking torpo. Alright, turn him on. Come on, Fury! Hit the target. Oh shit. Oh, two duds? Let's go. Take that. Why are we shooting AP right now? Shoot AG for the love of God. Looks like a torpedo about to hit his, his own ship. Huh? Okay, one goes down. Okay, Bullfrog, where are you headed? Where are the transports? Straight ahead. Okay, you keep going after the transports. Is this guy? Come on, baby. Dude, our accuracy is so bad. Another perfect example why I don't know why our, our accuracy is so bad on a destroyer that's this close. It should just be point and click. And there should be no aiming uh, needed here. And this should just be death. I mean, we've got nine inch guns for God's sakes at point blank. It's not even, you don't even need to aim that, just point and shoot. goes. Crap. Back over to the Yu Yang.
definitely need to work on the aiming in this game. For reals. Like, this ship should not be missing this many shells up this close on a freaking destroyer. Mr. Fox dropping five gifted memberships while we murder all these destroyers. Appreciate you, my dude. Move back towards the enemy fleet. Still waiting for this guy to catch up to the uh, enemy transports. Get some goats in the chat for Mr. Fox as well. What up, Joey? How's it going? up time a little bit now. Talk to, uh, Dr. Van Gelder, how's it going? Jonathan Mendoza? Pretty sure I already said hello, but hello again. Clayton, I see you. Yeah, maybe that's what it is. Maybe our guys are just out of practice shooting. All right, turn them off. Save your ammo until we get up close and personal. How have we not caught up to these gut? Okay, I was going to say, how have we not caught up to these god dang transports? I refuse to believe it. Trying to get out ahead of these guys. These guys are going left to right, so if we can get out ahead of them, should be able to get some, uh, some good hits in here. No idea if these guys are actually like armed transports. If they are, we could be in a little bit of trouble here. Okay, these guys are running. So we're just going to let them go. We're going to go over here and join these guys. No need to chase those destroyers down. Have you go ahead and follow our destroyer. These are definitely armed transports. I think that's safe to assume at this point. It is always kind of funny to watch the accuracy against transports compared to the accuracy against, like, warships. You know what I mean? Like, it seems like we get so much more accuracy against the transport than we get against the warship. Now, obviously, transports are going much slower and generally a larger target than some smaller warships, but still. are capable of just 12 and a half knots. Speed up time.
we got the lead transport, and this should be the last one. Beautiful. All right. That was a fun fight. We lost a total of 24 crew members. They lost 958. We sank 11 ships. They sank none. So, uh, well done there. What up, Daniel? Welcome to the stream. All right. The Courageous Class was a group of three battle cruisers built for the Royal Navy between World War One. 1915 to 1917. They were otherwise known as large light cruisers since their displacement of 22,000 tons was significantly smaller than the other battle cruisers. Though smaller, they carried powerful 15-inch guns mounted in twin, two twin turrets and their geared steam turbines offered high speed of 32 knots. All right. Uh, still got one more convoy mission over here. Looks like a light cruiser versus our heavy cruiser, which is another willpower class. Several more destroyers and uh, transport fleet. Uh, pretty healthy transport fleet, so I would love to get a hold of those transports. So we'll probably do a similar thing here where we go, we engage, and then we take our destroyers after their transports. That'll be our goal. But yeah, there's, there's a couple of things that I would like to go after, uh, or a couple games that I'm actually considering playing for you guys. One is obviously Farming Sim again. I would like to get into that again. Uh, maybe either stream or make VODs. Uh, and then the other one is a game called Creature Creator. Uh, it's a game that just came out, and I actually started to play it, and it seems like it's going to be a pretty fun game. Um, I don't know how good it would do in terms of VODs, so maybe I'll, I'll do some sort of like, uh, different thing with that. Might do a stream or something. What up, Stung? Good to see you, man. Speed up time. Okay, so we've got some off to the left and some off our bow. Only time will tell which is which. Uh, not, I've never gotten into Diablo, to be honest. Okay, these guys are coming at us in an abreast formation here. Okay. Break you off. They managed to hit each other? Question mark? Okay, we got tour pits. If nothing else, it's just kind of nice having some freaking, like, torpedo fodder. Like, you send these fast movers out here that are really agile, they, they attract all the torpedoes, and then your bigger ships get to uh, maneuver around a little bit more freely.
What are we shooting? Incendiary. God dang it. This, these, these, uh, heavy cruisers definitely need some, uh, refits. Fight. Down he goes. Okay, we want to head towards the uh, enemy transports if we can. Getting some hits on the light cruiser. <clears throat> Not quite as good as I would like. Light cruiser dead in the water here. Should be the end of him. Hopefully. I lied. Apparently we scored a flood on an area that's already flooded. Finish him off, boys. Thank you. Friendly torpedoes coming in. It's a little, little sketch. There we go. That was an oopsie. We hit two different ships with that volley. We'll take it though. What up, Drift King? How's it going? Aaron, how's it going? Jim, good to see you. back to the stream guys glad you guys get to enjoy another ultimate admiral with me i know it's been a while for those of you who are just joining us Hazardous. Live up to your name. That should be the end of him. Meanwhile, the rest of the convoy has been intercepted by our destroyers, and they are doing what they do best, which is just absolutely annihilate every one of these little turds.
don't see that many transports getting flash fired very often. What happens when you uh, are transporting a bunch of ammunition to the enemy? base seasoning never heard of it what up nuked one welcome to the stream Pretty funny, Clayton. All right, I think that's it. That is what we call a success, boys. That was a complete raffle stomp. We lost nine crew members. They lost 2,100. They lost a light cruiser, four destroyers, and they managed to lose 11 transports. That is a disastrous outcome for the Chinese. <laughs> that is pretty funny, Clayton. Do, 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 do. Bum, bum, bum. Live and let die. All right, so we've got the naval invasions underway. We've got East Asia actually being uh, handled pretty, pretty well so far. Got the Kingslayer out there, which is a Paladin class battleship. We got the Baltimore, which is an Eagle class heavy cruiser. Obviously, in Hong Kong, we've got uh, some heavy cruisers over here as well, willpower class heavy cruisers. Uh, if we go to ship design, we've got the willpower class, which were designed in 1922. They've never been refitted. So I think, uh, I think now would be a good time. I mean, we do have the Eagle class, which is our new ones, obviously. But if we go ahead and view our heavy cruisers, our willpower class heavy cruisers, let's go ahead and get these guys upgraded. Why not? You know what I'm saying? Why not? Let's get a refit. Uh, obviously, you got some guns that are no longer able to fit, which is not ideal. Um, these are five-inch guns. So it looks like we're going to have to uh, adjust those. So let's do that real quick. Yeah, they don't give us much room. Apparently these 5-inch guns are much bigger than they were before. So I think we're going to have to hold off on those 5-inch guns. Maybe throw some 4-inch guns back on here. Just don't seem like we have as much room as we had before. Even though we're as wide as we can possibly get. All right, let's just pull those off for now. We'll hold up. Uh, we're going to need that weight anyway for some good stuff like um, radar, um, RDF, depth charge 4, um, sonar 3. Stereoscopic 5. Uh, go with auto reloading. Electro Hydro 2. We've got tube powder. And we've got TNT 3. Let's go with that. We're bringing less shells. 
Um, which is fine. I don't mind that. Standard shell size. Uh, we need to switch this over to high capacity, high explosive. Um, standard AP for 9-inch guns should be fine. Go with Citadel 5, all or nothing. That's going to increase our weight even further. We can, we can change things as needed. This is 135, so this is going to help us quite a bit. That's fine. Oil is fine. Okay, so now we just gotta adjust our ship accordingly. Uh, we are only like 200 tons overweight. That's not that bad. That's not that bad. Um, let's drop the main belt down a little bit. That ought to save us a, quite a bit of weight here. There we go. That gets us underweight. Take that. Um, we'll just put a little bit of armor here on the deck just trying to get it a little bit yeah that's gonna be too much okay whoops too far there we go all right so we've gotten rid of some of the uh the guns on the side unfortunately but we still have plenty of engine efficiency. We should be much more effective with the main guns. Um, pitch is still pretty bad. Roll is okay. It's got a bit of an aft weight offset. Not much we can do about that, unfortunately. But overall, while we do lose quite a bit of secondaries here, we still are going to have, what, six plus this one in the middle that can fire over either side. So you, you have basically a nine-gun broadside of five-inch guns that should be decently accurate. So should be a pretty solid upfit or a refit. What up, Kimmy? How's it going? Miles, good to see you. Wolfie, good to see you again. Long time. Happy Father's Day as well. We do have radar. We put radar and we put RDF on there. So we've got uh, much more accurate guns, hopefully. Seven AM, good morning. And the best part is it shouldn't take that long to refit the ships either. Your Father's Day was wildly uh, chaotic. I'm sorry to hear that, man. Let's get these three refitting. It's only going to take a month, so hopefully not too too shabby. Then we'll have to get the others uh, re refitted after they're done, being repaired. But other than that, I think this first month is done, so let's go ahead and next turn it. What up, Joshua? How's it going? Oh, it was chaotic in a good way? Well, that's good. At least it, at least it was good. Yeah, it's 1237 here in Ohio. But I'm glad you guys have got to join us again for another Ultimate Admiral stream. I do apologize that it took so long, but it's just been crazy. It has. Like, my life outside of World of Warships has been kind of crazy lately, so I haven't had a chance really to, to do much streaming. All good, Jessica. Appreciate you dropping in. Have a good night. The Empire of Japan has sent us a telegraph which clearly threatens us for war. Uh, hello? Japan, I don't think you want to do that, my friends. Um, screw it. We're going in. A uh, bunch of 
submarines. That's not ideal, but we should have plenty of anti-submarine potential here. I hate going up against subs, though. They're so, so busted. We took medium damage. They took no damage. That makes sense. Uh, we've got a Navara-class heavy cruiser versus our Nariko. Okay. Well, welcome, Zach. Appreciate you dropping in. Hopefully you guys had a good night over there. All right. Enemy is spotted where? Right off the bow. You'll love to see it. All right. Um, honestly, I'm just going to have everybody else retreat. Noriko should be able to handle this. It's one heavy cruiser, for God's sakes. ship. Beautiful ship. I like that he's spotted us, but he's clearly trying to run away. You know what? Screw it. Let's grab these destroyers. Um, detach them. I want you to go spot. Everybody else, just maintain your course. Do whatever you gotta do. God dang it. I hate how they do that. You go out, out there. Give me all you got. Like, we're capable of 29 knots with this thing. Like, you wouldn't think he'd be able to outrun us. And you'd think with as big a ship as this is, with radar and everything, we'd be able to, like, spot him from a decent range, given the fact that it's a heavy cruiser. And we're within times five. Oh, Noriko doesn't even have radar. He only has he only has RDF. Okay, well that's that's fine. That's probably why he's not spotted yet. All right. Well, sad part is this destroyer is only five knots faster than our battleship, so I don't know how much good he's going to be. But it's pretty clear that this guy has no intention of fighting Nariko. the silhouette of that thing on the horizon. Let's just... Oh, never mind. Hold that thought. 
We have located said enemy. At a whopping 13.8 kilometers. It is a very small heavy cruiser. Let's take a look at it. Like, from this, you can just make out the silhouette of the battleship right there. This very old heavy cruiser is in a lot of trouble. Because there's no way he's faster than our battleship. At this point, that guy probably thinks the entire armada has caught him. He doesn't realize it's just one battleship. Because all the secondaries that are reaching out and trying to hit him. Currently at 10 kilometers, there's our first hit. Let's turn out to the left a little bit. Now that we're well within range of this guy, he's not going to be able to outrun us. So, open up a little bit more. Get more guns on the target. He's only capable of 20 knots, this poor guy. San Salvador, huh? Dude, if any of those 17-inch guns hits this man, he's a goner. Prepare to fire the main guns! Fire the guns! Oh no! We burn him down with secondaries before we even got to hit him with the mains. It's tragic. Absolutely tragic. What up, Junior? Welcome. Gavin as well. Good to see you. 775 crew members lost for the Spanish Empire. Zero lost for the Americans. Snow's in the chat. Good to see you. Potemkin was a pre-dreadnought built for the Imperial Russian Navy throughout 1898 to 1905 that became famed when her crew rebelled against their officers during 1905 Russia's revolution. Potemkin was slightly overweight compared to the initial design, reaching 13,100 tons of displacement. The ship had a main battery of two twin 12-inch guns and a very strong secondary armament. Her maximum speed was rather low, not exceeding 16 knots. Interesting. Yeah. Ungoverned Territories' new leader was found to support armed terrorists who disrupt the regional trade networks of the United States, increasing the tension between the two countries. The United States government decided to launch a swift military operation to occupy Weihauwei. 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 I apologize. Replace the local government and pacify the region for the coming years. A task force of at least 70,000 total tonnage is needed to support the invading force. Yes, I support the action. Where are you? Definitely sounds like it would be down here, but I could be wrong. 
Way ha way. Where is way ha way? Congrats, Dark Lord. What up, Potato Factory? Welcome. Welcome to both of the Jacobs. Appreciate you guys. Uh, way ha way. Why am I like, like, it sounds like it would be over here. So I'm pretty sure I took most of this in, didn't we? Like, I'm not seeing it. Stop it. It would have had to have been a British territory, right? If it's ungoverned. Way away. Surely it's not on the mainland, right? So that does not sound like it's... I must be like completely blind. Cause I'm not seeing any way away. I'm doing good, man. Doing good. Anybody know where way away is? <laughs> like for reals? I'm lost. God, Russia's a big place. I guess next turn we'll find out because it'll be on the map, right? Just be nice to start heading in that direction. I'm just looking at all the, like, ungoverned territory right now to see if I can find way away. Manchuria or China? Oh, it's right there. Okay, okay, okay. That makes sense. I was like, I know the name. I've, I've seen it. I just don't remember where. Okay, so we have these guys right in the neighborhood. Let's go ahead and move them up here. Avoiding the mines, if at all possible. That'll be plenty of tonnage for the area. All right, we have these guys. I'm not going to bother. I'm just going to auto-resolve that is what it is. Uh, let's go to fleet. We do have some low crews. Didn't we see it like a low crew? Like where's... Oh, maybe it's these guys. Yeah, I think it was these guys. So they're already being repaired. That's fine. That's fine. Um, I need to click on ship design again. Way away is a uh, ways away. You're not wrong. All right. Let's get those refitting as well. Should have plenty of tonnage. We're fine. Research. Wow, they changed this a little bit. I see. Okay, we finished that, so let's pull off of that for the moment. Got big guns coming. What are we getting here? Turret mechanisms, small gun barrels we don't care about, so we don't need to speed that up. Range finders we're working on. Big guns we're working on. All of that's fine. What are we getting here? I feel like they zoomed in quite a bit here. Like, I feel like this used to be zoomed out a little further. But if we pull off of the submarine improvements and just let things go, like, that'll speed things up a little bit. I mean, I'm not too worried at this point in doing much more because we've pretty much hit the tops. Like, ain't nothing going to sink us. 
at this point. All right, next turn. What up, Scott? Good to see you, my dude. Appreciate you dropping in. <laughs> well, when Lotsis isn't here, uh, somebody's got to take over for him. Appreciate you, Stung. Somebody has to come up with the goofy jokes. War has erupted between the Soviets and the Austro-Hungarians. Uh, we have one submarine versus a huge fleet, so hopefully our guys can repel that single submarine. He was sunk. We took medium damage. Fair enough. Leviathan and Widowmaker are going up against a couple of heavy cruisers. These heavy cruisers have a top speed of 39 knots? Good God! Okay, so they're going to be faster than us. How the fuck do heavy cruisers have a god dang top speed of 39 knots? How is this possible? I mean, they're basically light cruisers. They got 6.3 inch guns. So, light cruisers. But still, 39 knot light cruiser. Thirty nine knots. All right. Leviathan and Widowmaker. You guys will lead the charge, obviously. Enemy spotted to the southwest. We'll make turns for it. We got Eddie over here as well. And the Friesland. Honestly, you're pretty much useless to us, so we might as well just send you home. Multiply the speed here. They have already spotted our battleships. Big surprise. Eddie appears to have been in some uh, pretty nasty fights. Should be spotting them any time. They have spotted our light cruiser now. The fact that their heavy cruisers can outspot my light cruiser is a little disconcerting. Will they actually get spotted? It says they're to the southwest. We've been heading southwest, so... We're down to the times five. have some torpedoes. Not a lot. I feel like this is one of those situations where they say they're to the southwest, but they're like right out here to my right. Because we're no longer spotted. But we're close enough to the enemy that it's... Okay. Yeah.
We found the little turd burglars. My assumption was correct. Should be about in range to start shooting at them. I like how this makes them go dark for us, but we still are lit up for them. Not ideal. Come on, Eddie. Boy, what a thrilling fight so far. All right, let's try to lure them back to our uh, battleship. Like if we start to uh, withdraw, will they chase? At the current course, like, we can't get close enough to actually shoot them. They're maintaining their, their distance. So it doesn't do us any good to keep chasing them. Our battleships aren't getting close enough to actually shoot at them either. This is just a waste of our time. Could disengage here. What up, Opie? Welcome to the stream. Uh, Xanata Music, how's it going? Do I think they'll add Vermont and Legends? Probably not anytime soon. They don't seem to want to be adding anything to Legendary tier, for whatever reason. What's it been? A year since the last time they've added a single ship to Legendary tier? Just to end this. I'm not chasing these guys off the freaking map. Whoever decided to build a 39 knot freaking light cruiser that's disguised as a heavy cruiser is just stupid. What up, Jordan? How's it going?
4 out of 6 there, 3 out of 6 there, sunk one of their, their destroyers and almost killed the other. Hazardous versus Yubari again. Now, did Hazardous get his refit? It looks like it. So this will be the new improved Hazardous. What up, Don Dish Soap? How's it going? Uh, we're at war with uh, the Japanese, apparently. Uh, the Chinese. The Italians. The Spanish. So, half of the world. All right, we should have radar and everything now. And we are running high capacity HE now instead of the uh, garbage incendiary. Artificial Reef has gone. He's coming at us, so we should be able to say we should be able to engage this guy we're going to keep heading straight towards the transports and let our guns do the talking on that light cruiser that we can't hit this guy at this range with radar and everything? Come on now. There we go. Now we're starting to land some shells. Look at the amount of shells we're putting on target. How is he still afloat? Alright, let's go intercept these little transports. It's going to take us some time to hunt them down, but should be fine. They can only do like 12 knots, so we should be able to catch them. Oh no, we're not ending this until we get to hunt down the transports. Look, it's a transport. Whoops. Wrong oh, button. I'm just going to wait till we get closer.
And these guys are 24 kilometers away. Good lord. This might take a minute. What's our range? 17. I hate the fact that they're going by whether or not we're spotted. Like, yes, we're spotted. We can spot them, I mean. We can't fire on them, so why are you limiting me to times five times time progression? Like, come on. armed transports got guns everywhere they don't appear to uh, realize that they're under fire or they will be shortly See how fast these guys should only be capable of like 12 and a half knots, right? So like we should be gaining on them relatively quickly. Yeah, 12 and a half knots. We're doing double that, basically. that we could probably start shooting, but I got to save my ammo. There's one of the trade-offs that we went with was a uh, lower ammo loadout. Don't fire till you see the whites of their eyes. HE has a range of 17 kilometers, so we ought to be getting in range pretty soon. Actually, we are in range, just don't have a high enough probability of hitting them, apparently. Our shots are actually, like, we're able to reload fast enough to fire our guns before they land. Which is kind of crazy. Heavy cruiser with nine inch guns. Hey, we got a hit. Down goes one. Second. Level number two. I like how we're shooting the guy that's the furthest away. So like, let's hit this guy, finish him off. That'll do it.
has a huge hit. Now this poor guy's dead. I get there ain't nothing he can do about this. His engines were compromised. We're right on top of him. As soon as we start shooting, he's the done. He's the donezo. What up, Philip? Uh, I don't know, man. I I stopped trying to like look forward to stuff in Legends. I just play the game. We lost 17 crew members, unfortunately, but uh, 87,000 damage. Not bad. I just play the game. I found that the more that I just kind of play the game and don't worry about everything, the better it feels. Yeah, I, I would highly recommend not getting your hopes up. It's like the clans, like they, they introduced the clans and everybody had these ideas that they were going to have these giant super clans. And then Wargaming was like, yeah, we're not going to allow that because we need to make as much money off of this as possible. So it wouldn't do us any good if we charge 1,250 gold for a clan and then have, you know, 800 members in a, in a single clan. So we're going to go ahead and make sure that we have, uh, you know, 1,250 gold for a clan for every 40 people. Have fun. It's all good, though. At least they're finally here, so that'll shut up some of the people. I say that. It won't shut up anybody. They will all end up just bitching about something else. All the people that have been bitching about clans and training rooms and stuff for so long, they're like, oh, yeah, we did this, we did this, we did it. As soon as the shit that they get here gets here, they'll start bitching about something else. Be like, oh, we're just, we don't have this, we don't have this. We're just like, you guys, they're never happy. They're literally never happy. The next thing I want to see them uh, do is to uh, make it so. Wasn't there supposed to be like a, an offensive up here? Am I wrong? Wasn't this supposed to be an offensive or something? Or is that next turn? Maybe it's next turn. Um, but yeah, I don't know. Just one of those things. Like, I, I'm glad that they're starting to make some changes, but I, I just kind of wish that they would, like, I don't know, do better. Like, I feel like our content that they add to the game, they add a lot of Tier 8 stuff recently, and that's fine. But nobody wants to play a bunch of Tier 8s. It's too expensive. It's just a waste of everybody's time. Like, just, I don't know. It seems like they, they end up, like, bouncing around too much instead of focusing on getting anything done. That's just me. Maybe, I don't know. All right. I mean, hell, we got a $746 million surplus. We might as well do this, right? Doesn't hurt us. Might as well. Uh, we've got big guns coming up. We got Mark three sixteen inch guns. Very nice. Love to see that. Uh, we got some new explosives coming up as well. What do we got here? Smoke competition or composition. Nobody cares. Range finders is on its way. What do we got here in control stations? Capital ship towers five. Fair enough. Don't know how much that's going to help us anytime soon. So not too worried about it. Maybe we just go ahead and knock it out, get it uh, get it done. All right. Next turn. Like I don't know. I, I like the game. Always have. That's why I've devoted the last four years of my life to that game. It's just one of those things where it just seems like the developers, they they have an idea of what they want to do, and then they bounce around so much, and then they let, like, I don't know. They don't seem to get anything done. It seems like they, they just bounce around all over the place.
apparently our war with China is done, so that's good. That's just the Italians, the Spanish, and the uh, Japanese now. Ah, hell. Might as well become an alliance with uh, the Russians. Why not? Why not? Maybe it'll help our uh, naval battles and stuff if we get some extra peoples. Uh, we don't have any... I mean... Yeah, Friesland got sunk. Not too... Another submarine. Again, we should have plenty of uh, anti-submarine capability here. Okay. I was going to say, we should have the ability to sink these freaking subs. We just lost Paul Revere. They just lost a submarine. Ungoverned Territories' uh, new leader was found to support armed terrorists. Uh... Okay, this is exactly what they said the last time. But this is Western India? Hell yeah. We want that. Fuck yes. Apparently this is no longer a conquest. Okay, fair enough. Move the hell out of there. Go conquer fucking West India. Liz. Why is that just a single fucking cruiser up there by itself? Uh, hello? Move you back down here. What happened to our fucking... Auto-resolve. Honestly, I'm just going to auto-resolve this. Some of this stuff, I just cannot be bothered to keep doing the same missions over and over again. And then we take heavy damage. That makes no fucking sense, game. <laughs> Literally makes no sense. Anyway, where is our fucking battleships? We need 288,000 tons worth of ships. Okay, these guys are here. Get over there. I don't know how much tonnage that is, but I want you to get there as soon as possible. Um, this has still got two more months. Surely we have more fucking ships in the neighborhood. Oh, there we go. Okay, move these guys over here as well. See, the Defiant class... Let's pull you guys out. Okay, there we can make it. So these are three Defiant class destroyers. Oof. That should be more than enough tonnage over there. That should make it within a couple of turns. Fair enough. Alright, we got another convoy here. Which is Uranus versus a light cruiser and a couple of transports. I mean, we... We would be, uh, you know, in a bad place if we we didn't watch Uranus fight, you know? Oh, I've already had people asking me if I'm going to start a clan, if I'm going to join clans. Like, so many people.
Apparently the transports are down. Beautiful. Easy fight. I mean, I don't know. I wouldn't say it's dropped off so much. I think um, World of Warships Legends peaked back in 2021, I think. And then for the last year and a half, it's been kind of stagnant. But I still get just as many views as I have always gotten, like for the most part. Like if I if I put put out a good video, it gets good views. Um, so. Not really any difference there. Solus and Wolf versus Bolzano, San Pietro, and a couple of destroyers and some transports. Okay. Well, I don't want to put Solus out there to potentially get nuked if, if I auto-resolve, so... We're just going to take control and do what we got to do. Wouldn't want Puds to get mad at me again. Uh, I mean, at the end of the day, like, if you put out good videos, people are going to watch. So if you're, if you're seeing a decline in your content, then maybe you gotta, like, mix up your content. You know what I mean? Make sense? But again, a lot of the, a lot of the issues that I see with, uh, people's streams and stuff that, like, people have gotten into the habit of just constantly complaining all the time. And I think that is why they're seeing a decline in their, their audience. Which is why I've kind of, like, gone away from the whole, like, getting super pissed off all the time and trying to complain about everything. I just play the game. Because people don't... That's what people want. People want to play the game. Does that mean you can't voice your opinion on things? Absolutely not. You're fully capable of voicing your opinion on things. But... At the same time... If you're constantly negative all the time and whining, then, like, you're going to lose views. It's just not, it's not fun to watch, so why would they watch it? been flanked. I am not a fan of being flanked.
Like, I'm pretty confident that we're going to be able to take down these destroyers. What I'm worried about is getting absolutely obliterated by torpedoes. Or having something go wrong with, uh, Solace here. I think these are mostly transports, so we should be fine. Transports are getting ripped apart by Sullus. As you'd expect. Slow these down a little bit, try to get a little bit more accuracy. Come on, Wolf. Come on, Wolf. Punch him. He's right in front of your face, man. Down goes another one of those. Gotta get that transport out of here. Wolf. How you doing? I think we got him. Okay, get back to the fight, please. See, the problem with these guys being so fast is the game freaks out and can't hit them. Doesn't matter what, what range. Doesn't matter what your tech is. Turns into basically a glitch ship. And you saw how close he was. We never took any damage. Because the game just can't figure out how to hit them. Good morning, uh, Dunkirk. How's it going? Dylan, good to see you. Johnny, good to see you again.
see what I mean about not being able to hit? Like, the only times we score hits on these guys is if they get close enough to where, like, I'm shooting at this guy and the shells hit this guy. Gotta be careful here because their secondaries and their primaries are gonna be spamming so much HE that I'm not gonna be able to like do any damage. Or I'm gonna be potentially at risk of being burnt to death. There we go. We hit this guy by shooting at this guy. for no reason. Doesn't matter what the range is. When they're going this fast, you cannot hit them. The game just won't allow it. What's going to end up happening is I'm going to end up losing my ship to AG damage and fires. Surrender due to high casualties if I continue this fight. We're just going to try to get out of here. Problem is they have the speed to dictate this engagement. So if they choose to pursue us, we can't break engagement. There we go. Yeah, those those sorts of like really super fast ships like that, just you're not able to hit them. It's stupid. Like this is the this is the sort of stuff that like stealth and them like exploit when they make their their ships and stuff. Like they go for those super fast builds that are just the computer the like game coding or whatever can't keep up with them to try to figure out how to hit them. So like it's just not going to be a thing. Yep, still going strong. Good morning from France. Well, good morning from Ohio, my dude. I'll tell you a game that I'm looking forward to is Starfield. I'll be honest. That game looks really good. I know it's another Bethesda game, and I've been kind of sus of Bethesda recently. But uh, I'm hoping, hoping this is going to be a good one. We got a convoy over here. Saber class light cruiser versus a bunch of transports or a bunch of destroyers and transports. Eh, it should be fine. I think this is our newest class of light cruisers. What up, Grateful? How's it going? Yeah. 
Good evening from New Zealand. Oh. Hello. Good morning. Fun fact, I actually had a pen pal from New Zealand when I was in, like, middle school. Light Cruiser Richmond. Spot for me in the turn. Actually, just follow. This guy is literally just as fast as our destroyer. So many torpedoes. Good thing this thing is ac or like agile as shit. We got a hipper on board this bitch. Get him, Richmond. Punish him. Come on, Richmond. Get him, baby. So far, so good. But a Viking has gone. Definitely got torpedoes about to be on the way. of hits.
Okay. And then there were two. Boomy's on his way back too. Richmond. Quit playing with your food and finish him off. There we go. That's the kind of stuff we like to see. This should do it for him. Well, pretty close. Down he goes. And then there was one. Then we gotta find all their goddamn destroy or transports. What up, Illuminati? How's it going? You have some info for me. What kind of info? Set an open course for the virgin sea. Cause I've got to be free. Free to face the life that's ahead of me. On board I'm a captain. So climb aboard. We'll search for tomorrow. On every shore, and I'll try, oh Lord, I'll try, to carry on. <laughs> New York and the Texas were built on the same hull? Yeah. Pretty sure they're both New York class battleships, right? Massive hits. Come on, finish him off. Burn him down if you have to. Just get rid of him.
Hold on. Enemy spotted to the north. I've already been going north. So hopefully we will run into these crew or these before too long. Good night, Grateful. Appreciate you dropping in. Thank you for the thumbs up. Also, Abdullah, good to see you. We have found uh, Zitzard Blossoms. Get him, Boomy. Owie. That may have been slight overkill, but I feel like he deserved it. I'm just glad they find they implemented this fact that like if you destroy the convoy transport like the convoy like escorts that you can then chase down and murder the transports. That's the way it should be. I, back in the day, this used to not be a thing. For those of you guys that have been around a while, like me, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, back in the day, this used to not be a thing where you could just kill, kill the convoy escorts and then go after the transports. Alright, you little turd. Quit shooting holes in my ship! Got hit by our own goddamn ship. Finish him off, Boomy. the end of that fight so we lost 69 crew members nice uh, they lost 14 ships we, they lost 1546 crew members so yeah that's a that's a definite win for us take that what up radioactive uh, Zetaton is on its way I think 
if I remember correctly. I don't think it's actually done anything yet. Come on, game. Load it up. Thank you. All right. So we have this conquest here, uh, which we're sending everybody to to try to capture Western India. That'd be huge. Like, this would be huge. Because they've got oil and everything. This is like the perfect place for us to go. Um, okay, this is the Divine Judgment. I lied. It's not Zeta Ton. Zeta Ton may be not built yet. Because I think Zeta Ton was the last thing that we built in the last stream, right? Let's go to the top. Do, 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 do. Zeta Ton is, yeah, 40 months out from being built. It's still a long ways out. Um, yeah, it's just going to be a while. It's going to be a while. One more month until we get the new uh, big guns tech. Still making all the money. Like, we're never going to have money problems. Never going to have money problems. Other than that, really ain't a whole lot going on. Uh, the conquest we've sent everybody to, the naval invasions, should be getting close to wrapping up. Hopefully we actually capture them this time. That would be nice. This one finishes next month. This one finishes in two months. Hopefully they don't fail this time. Considering we have 100% army logistics and we have plenty of tonnage. That's eh, close enough. Zeta Tatten? Why would it be Zeta Tatten? Isn't it Z E T A T O N? Zeta Ton? Hey, we got the Western Sahara! It's ours! Finally! Finally. Um, auto resolve. Medium damage to all of their guys. We didn't take any. Beautiful. Thank God we finally captured that freaking thing. Now what? We got Eastern England? Uh, yes, please. Um, how much do we need for that? 44,000 tons, you say? Well, I mean, I just happen to have a, a fleet right here just begging to get up there. I'll get up there. Let's go. Let's go capture Eastern England, boys. I'm liking this new, uh, this new change. Oh, we don't have enough tonnage here anymore. Damn it. Don't quite have enough tonnage here yet, but they are on their way. Should get there in a couple of turns, hopefully. Um... Shit. Who else do we have? Do we have anybody close by? A couple of subs. These guys are here. We got Solus in them. Can we send you guys? Oh, you're all fucking repairing. Oh my god, they're all repairing. These stupid submarines. Submarines and destroyers is all we fight anymore. I need ships. Where is my ships? How much how much tonnage do we actually need? We are currently 
Only like 16,000 tons. I mean... 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Call it 12, 13, 14. It's close. I think we can move these guys up here. It'll take them a couple of turns to get there. Move submarines. Get you guys up here as well. Um, we got five destroyers here as well. Might as well send you guys up here. Just trying to get as many people in the neighborhood as possible. So I want this. We can take Sardinia. That's big. And then Morocco's next. But we are trying to take this as well. All right. What do we have on the East Coast? Anybody? Anybody waiting around? We got two battle cruisers here. This is Battlecruiser John 117 in Legacy. Uh, I'd rather not send them out without nothing to support them. Oh, we've got all of these guys. Hell, send everybody. Send them all. Send you guys over here. I don't know why we got so many people chilling at home. Get over here. Go full scorpion mode. Get over here. Anybody else chilling here? Got a destroyer? Might as well send you out too. It's the boomer. Okay, you head over here. Join up with that fleet that has nothing. Um, what about west coast? Or actually southern. What do we got? Anything? Two light cruisers. Get your ass into the fight too. Cincinnati and Columbia. Get over here. You guys can join up with that fleet as well that doesn't have anything. Then anybody in Bermuda hanging out? Nobody? A couple of subs. That's fine. Nassau? Freeport? Georgetown? Cuba? Hey, we got a couple of battle cruisers here too. Get out there! Man, we got so many ships that they're just kind of waiting around. Get in the fight. Get over there. Sending a whole fleet out. Everybody get out there. I ain't scared. Anybody else? Got some submarines at Panama. Anybody hiding down here? Nope. Georgetown, we got some submarines. It's fine. Okay, well, I think we... Uh... I think we officially have some meat going to the fight. That's good to know. All right. Uh, hopefully they can get over there and help that naval invasion succeed. Uh, and hopefully this conquest will go off without a hitch. We got these guys coming in to reinforce that. Got a battle over here. A couple of destroyers versus a couple of destroyers. Should be a fight that we win, but it ends up being a trade. Whatever. Close enough. Uh, more destroyer. Auto resolve it. Fair enough. Okay. Just automatically, I, I would say automatically add crew, but that's also going to make everybody repair all the time. Uh, we got plenty of tonnage, so we're not too worried there. Everything else should be going just fine. Still working on the big guns. All right, next, uh, yeah, next turn, because we don't have anything else going on at the moment. The United States of the world. We'll be short a few hundred tons. Yeah, I'm just trying to, like, squeeze as much stuff into a little little area as possible. Good night, Mr. Radio, or Mr. Fox, appreciate you. Um, he's got a lot of guns. 
Uh, which roll? What do you mean, failure? Auto resolve it then. A couple of our light cruisers, Saber class light cruisers, versus uh, a couple of people. Sunk all three of them. Beautiful. I'm just trying to hurry this campaign up a little bit. We've been kind of... Uh... They're trying to take over... India is trying to take over Eastern India. That's not ideal. How dare you guys try to take over our stuff? And by our stuff, I mean your stuff, but we're going too. Uh, this is actually kind of convenient. Will our bat or will our submarines sink their battleships? That'd be fun. Not quite, but we weren't damaged, so that's that's at least a thing. So much stuff with destroyers and transports. That's all we do. Ought to resolve it. Convoy. Ought to resolve it. Battle Heavy Cruiser Hazardous versus Heavy Cruiser Kaikoma. Top speed of 19.7. I mean, they're comparable in size, but not in capability. I'll take this fight. Have you had any issues with the saved files during your absence? No, I have not, uh, surprisingly. Hopefully they have gotten beyond that. Go get him. Spotting him at a whopping 23 and a half kilometers. We are much faster than he is. So we should be able to close the distance pretty quickly. Leave England alone. They're ungoverned territory. They're literally an anarchy. I'm bringing peace and order to the world. You know, freedom, all that. Welcome back, Eclipse. Yeah, I know, it's been a couple of weeks. I hate, I hate leaving you guys out for so long, but it's been a crazy couple of weeks. hits. Let's take a look at this old ship. Look at all the guns. Triple barrel turrets. Switch over to AP. have a heavy cruiser class you literally have uh, a class of your own for the battleship like a super battleship plus we we just built like most of the ships like that you're seeing right now are older designs but we just built brand new ships like our heavy cruisers are up to date our light cruisers are up to date our destroyers are up to date our battleships are up to date like 
literally everything. That's what I'm saying. We're kind of at the end of uh, end of the campaign in terms of building, because we have everything pretty much unlocked. Um, best techs, best halls, most that we can build in terms of size, like pretty much everything is unlocked. Look at this freaking fleet movement. It's like, yeah, we're on our way. Don't worry. So, yeah, we need a little bit more tonnage in here, but they're on their way. And then we'll need at least this fleet here to get up here, which is fine. It's fine. We got everybody. Uh, what else we got? We got a submarine engagement somewhere. Is it right here? Uh, it's our subs versus their fleet. That should be fun. Uh, actually, we almost got sunk. That's unfortunate. Thought we would do better than that, but unfortunately not. Still waiting for the naval invasion. We have enough ships here. Yes, we do. Got plenty of ships here, so hopefully we will take western india in the near future that is a total population of 111 million people an income of 768 million dollars northern india is owned by the chinese it's not ideal okay um what else we got Come on. All right. So we have 168% of our transport capacity. So we're okay there. I got to keep an eye on this. If this starts to drop too much, we're going to have to uh, figure so something out. I actually would like to end the war with China, to be honest. So let's try, let's try to get a peace treaty with China. And that way we can focus on these guys over here. That would be ideal. That would be ideal. Next turn. Uh, I mean, this game doesn't really need a massive, crazy PC to run either. Like, it's a pretty, pretty tiny game. I think most, most people's PCs probably could run it. Okay, we have peace with China. That's good. Uh, let's go ahead and grab Seychelles. Whatever that is. We did get Seychelles. Okay, where... The Japanese are still fighting us. I forgot about that. Uh, Nautical and Dolly Parton versus... I mean, that should be a fight that we can win. Auto resolve it. Eh, okay. Could could have gone worse. Uh, some heavy cruiser. This is their... Uh, it's 20, 20 not heavy cruiser. Eh, might as well. It's got the... New battle cruisers. Yeah, I don't know uh, exactly about gaming on, on Max, to be honest. I don't know how that works. Alright, to the southwest. Very slow, heavy cruiser. Like our our battleships, even in their um, our battle cruisers, our battle cruisers, even with their configuration set up for like 
full speed. Much faster than this guy. Yo, Capri coming in to re-up this membership for 39 months. Absolute OG on the channel. One of those that have been around for the longest amount of times. Appreciate you, Capri. Get some goats in the chat for Capri as well. Alright, let's just speed up. Nearly 18 kilometers away. These guys have 14 inch guns. Seychelles? I'll go with that. You guys will have to let me know where it's at because I have no idea. I want to say that it's the place that's like directly across from uh, the way away. Indian Ocean? Okay. Good to know. Also, Mr. Video Gamer, I'm doing good, man. Welcome to the stream. Torpedo, look out! I think this guy's pretty... Where the hell did those... You fucking idiot! You fucking idiot! I'm gonna sink your ass myself! Everybody, turn your guns off to the port side and fire on Boomer immediately! You fucking moron! Why would you ever in... Any fucking instance decide to launch torpedoes between you and a fucking battleship. Oh my god. Oh, I'm gonna lose my mind. Why the fuck would he launch torpedoes there? Fucking moron. Boomer, you are officially fucking coming back to the port. You are being court martialed. I'm gonna fucking make every one of your dumbass sailors walk the plank. Every one of them. From the command all the way down to the fucking people who pushed the god dang button to fire those torps. Everybody's gonna be walking the port or walking the plank. What the fuck? Take no damage from anything in the entire fight, and then our dumbass destroyer just dumps an entire rack of torpedoes into the side of our ship. Fucking stupid. Fucking boomer. The hell. Light damage. I wonder why. Fuckers. Okay, we're going to auto resolve this one. Ungoverned territory's new leader was found to... Uh, where? Pakistan! Okay, I know where that's at. So we got these guys up here. There's enough tonnage there, so this should get captured, hopefully. And that'll hopefully allow us to grab the rest of this over time. We are currently grabbing this, and now Pakistan, which should be over in... Uh, remember that moment when I said I know where it was? Pakistan is next to India. It should be right in here, right? Am I wrong? It's 
Thailand, Burma, Nepal. Am I wrong? Like, I could have sworn Pakistan was, like, right in here. Afghanistan. Oh, Pakistan's right there. Okay, I was just a little too far, too far east. Too far east. Okay, how much? I didn't see how much that was going to take, but should be fine. Um, let's go ahead and do politics, Spain. We want to go with um, Morocco. North, Northwest India, yeah. I, I could have swore it was on the east side of India as well, but I was apparently wrong. Okay, naval invasion of Morocco, please. We'll see how long that takes. Hopefully this gets enough tonnage here in the near future. We actually have enough tonnage already. So if we start moving... I'm going to hold, hold for now, see what happens. Okay, um, so yeah, we need to get ready for Karachi here. Um, auto resolve it. It's fine. So where is that one place that we just took? Ah. No, we've had that. Where's... We had higher... We have this. Where is the territory we just took from China? I like how somehow Japan ended up with Magong. We couldn't take it, couldn't take it, couldn't take it, and now suddenly Japan has it. This isn't what we took. Like we've had this for a while. Yeah, we've had we've even got subs there. So where the hell is the territory that we just took from? Am I crazy? Ah, screw it. I know that we just took tour or took uh, some territory from China. Just don't know what happened. Which which territory it was. Got a lot of conquests going on right now though. There'll be another one up here in Pakistan in the near future. Currently have three hundred ninety ton thousand tons. Yeah, this might be one of those situations where we take like one ship and take it up here. If depends on how much it's going to take to to take that. So next turn. Bangladesh used to be East Pakistan. Nice. Yeah, I think the legendary mod with the kills is going to be pretty nasty. Adding more damage output to certain ships. 
It's going to be insane. So many submarines, man. Eddie just got sunk. We actually have enough, so let's take these guys. Start moving them over this direction. Apparently Pakistan's no longer getting invaded by us. I don't know what's going on. The game's being weird. Take you guys. wonder if this is one of those times where if I try to go for like Western Spain, if I can like overlap ships in the area and take it, what are the odds? This guy just decided to go all the way around to go the other direction. Um, hold that thought. We may end up just going for Western Spain here. Next turn. Uh, we do have a submarine fight here. Surprise, surprise. It's our sub versus their sub. Should be a win for us. Okay, next turn. So much going on. So many conquests and invasions. Yeah, we took uh, seashells or Seychelles. So where is it? Where is it located? Anybody know? Indian Ocean. I think you said that, didn't you? I think you did. I think you did say that. So many god dang submarines. Shetland? Where the hell is Shetland? Sounds English. Definitely sounds English. All right, so Indian Ocean. Ah, found it. So that's what we took. What a war prize. <laughs> All right, uh, what's next? This is underway. Four more months there. Uh, four more months here. Where the hell is Shetland? I'm not seeing it around here. Anybody know where Shetland is? Three more months there. Shetland is north of Scotland? Really? Oh, shit. Yeah. Sure is. 7,000 tons. We got more than enough to split this fleet. So let's take... Uh, move a couple of these guys up here. Maybe take... Move those guys up. That should be enough tonnage to grab Shetland. I'm glad you guys know where everything is because 
some of these places I've never even heard of. <laughs> like, legitimately. Like, I know, like, I have a decent understanding of basic geography, but the, when you come into shit like that, I would have never found it. Uh, or the Seychelles down here, never would have found it. Another submarine fight. Surprise, surprise. And we just lost all of our submarines. Unfortunate. But it's okay. It's what they're there for. They're expendable. Everybody who joins up with the subs fleets know that they are in... They are, uh... You know. Expendable. Slowly but surely, we are getting ourselves figured out. Start moving towards uh, Western Sicily as well. All right, politics, Spain, naval invasion, Western Spain. Please and thank you. Let's see what we can get away with. Depending on how close it is, there might be an overlap here that we can exploit. Know what I mean, jelly beans? Uh, probably should, in the meantime, just kind of plan to be right here. I mean, we're not offering a lot of extra tonnage, but you never know. Might be enough. Should be one of these two ports, though, so might be enough overlap. Politics. We've already done that. Never mind. Uh, we're doing okay there. Nothing we can do. What are we getting next? Mark 13 for, or Mark 4 13 inch guns. Good lord. Okay. Whatever. New cruiser. What are we getting here? 19,000 ton heavy cruiser. Interesting. Don't need to rush it though. Pull off of the control stations for now. Let's go with the submarine haul push. Want even more subs. Better subs. All the subs. We're going to have more subs than Subway. Next! Have a good night, Radioactive. Appreciate you dropping in. What up, Purvis? How's it going? Google Maps? Yeah. Google Maps is really nice. You've never felt more isolated than when you visited the Shetlands? There you go. What up, Matthew? Welcome back. So many, like, little tiny battles. There's the way away again. 71,000 tons. Good lord, there's so many little tiny battles going on. I don't even know if we have 70,000 tons worth of ships over here. Truly don't think we do. We've kind of moved everybody. Um, this naval invasion ship... Oh my god, we're below the thing again! 
playing this game. Okay, we've got enough tonnage here. Let's take these guys, move them over here. These guys should be able to shore up this, hopefully. I don't think it's going to be enough. Sad part. God, this has been going on for a while, too. Just like every time we turn around, there's submarines. Like, how many goddamn subs do they have left? Like, I, we have sank so many freaking subs of theirs. They have five submarines left. So many submarines, man. This whole situation with Japan is getting annoying, too. Like, can we just get a, a peace treaty with Japan so that we can focus, please? Like, I would really much like a peace treaty with you guys so that we can focus on what we're doing. There's too much going on. Can't move these ships, apparently. Oh, lordy. Sometimes we're just too big for our own good. All right, so that should only take three months. So that'll be done pretty quickly. Then this is another three months, so that'll be done pretty quickly. And this one is going to take a whopping six months. And this one will be done in three months. This one, if we can ever get enough tonnage over here. Okay, let's try to try to think about this. So we move this. This is like 48,000 tons, right? Not quite. It's like 45,000 tons. So if we move this 45,000 tons over, that gives us a naval invasion of just under 300,000. Or just over 300,000. So we still don't quite have enough there. So what if we move... like two of these guys over two that then supplement us with enough hopefully should be a shouldn't be a problem okay um we're still at 100 percent army logistics so we're good there everything's fine there research is all coming along ship design we really don't have anything we need to work on right away Try to get Uranus some new crew. All right. Next turn. Have a good night, Mr. Video Gamer. Appreciate you dropping in. What up, Daniel? Railway Empire 2. I've never even played any of the Railway Empire, so I have no idea. Probably not. Uh, what up, Heathen? How's it going? You're in Florida? Nice. This is actually a fight, so we will definitely want to take this seriously.
What up, Godzilla? How's it going? Yeah, I've never even, like, I've never even seen Railway Empire, to be honest. I think I've heard of it, I've just never actually even seen it. Okay, so Lady Liberty and Yair with a group of destroyers. Fair enough. Speed up. So the goal here is to try to bait all of the torpedoes that we can out of this group. range of our torpedoes 12.2 So basically, I want to drop as many torpedoes as I can. Oh wait, do we only have one tor- oh my god. Well, that's kind of pointless. Damaged my steering. Fantastic. I'm 
Come on, Lady Liberty and Gayer. We need you guys to start hitting targets here. This is kind of ridiculous. we have not hit like anything up to this point is insane. You'd think with a group like this, like something would hit. Of course, we get an ammo detonation because we took a torpedo. Checks out. Fucking destroyers, dude. Look at this shit coming, fucking hooking in. It's like, oh, he's about to dodge even more torps. Can't let that happen. own thing back here. Still can't hit anything apparently. you care to join back up in the little, like, you know, formation we got going on here, do you? Maybe. Just a little bit. Hey, I don't know how many torpedoes got launched at us in that like last five minutes but it's a lot what up uh david how's it going well, i wouldn't say the game's too difficult to understand it can be a lot to take in initially like, it's just a lot of new stuff to learn Torpedo spam coming from these goddamn cruisers. Hey! Somebody give these guys a memo that you can use guns on your ship. You don't have to have just torpedoes. For the love of God. You are allowed to fit guns to your ships.
manual. It just takes time. Um, once you get the basics of the game down, um, it's definitely a lot easier than it looks. It looks super complicated, but it's really not. It just takes time to get used to. If only we could hit a target. like go ahead and cut our losses go ahead and detach have Yair come with me we have no no guns or no ammo left for the guns, thanks to the one torpedo we took We're gonna try to cover the retreat of Yair. You just give me everything you got and go straight ahead, Yair. We will try to cover you. We were hitting a lot of freaking shells, but for whatever reason, we were shooting HE. Got a flash fire, that's big. And cover the retreat well underway. Fires the guns wherever it has to go, avoid hitting the fucking ships. The only reason we're going to hit is the secondaries.
in here. Come on, Generale Antonio Cantore. Looks like he's done. There we go. more good hits and he's done. All right, so this ends up being a victory for us, even though we took uh, some pretty nasty hits. Unfortunately, that's going to pull away from our freaking naval invasion again. It's been the story of this naval invasion. Every time we get a group, like, to where we're starting to make headway, they freaking knock out another ship that has to go get repaired. Have a good night, Thor. Appreciate you, man. Have a good night, Stung. Appreciate you dropping in. I think we're getting ready to end anyway. <laughs> Territory's new leader is currently considered a threat for the United States. Uh, tension between the two countries increased dangerously. Who? Something we're going to have to keep an eye on. Something we're going to have to keep an eye on. So we got this should finish next month. This should finish in two months. This should finish in two months. Once again, we're under the limit we need for uh, ships there really god dang annoying just gonna have to hold out for now ambush over here auto resolve it uh, politics with Japan
need to get somebody up here. This one finishes next month, hopefully. That'll be a big boost to us. Then we can move these guys over to grab that. Need 71,000. So what we can do is probably just take this group over. Send these guys back to uh, the Mediterranean. All right, next turn. You're watching on your phone and on your TV. Uh, it might it might count as two video, two views. To be honest, I have no idea. Okay, Lady Liberty again is going into fight. guys just go ahead and retreat we know there's gonna be lots of torpedoes we don't have a lot of ammo either Seventeen kilometers from from us at the moment. I'm so tired of torpedoes in this game. They just launch torps everywhere. They got torps on every side of their ship.
How many more torps does this guy get? How many torps has he already launched? He's launched like 50 of them. Dude literally launched like 50 torpedoes before he died. Yeah, you need to be a you need to be a level 11. So you need to have 11 battles under your belt. It's really setting the bar high for the fleets, right? Yeah, these are the 39 not heavy cruisers. Fuck that. I'm not playing this game with them. They wanna, they wanna engage, they can engage. Otherwise, we're going home. Of course, it's two, it's twelve hundred and fifty doubloons, and they limited it to where you can only have up to what 50, 50 people in a clan. So yeah, they're gonna get a lot of money off of these. Okay, we've got the Sh uh, Shetland. We failed to gain control of Western India. Failed to gain control of Sardinia. That doesn't surprise me. All right, move you back down here. Reconvene, please. Sardinia is a pain in my ass. Next turn, this should finish. Three more turns until that finishes. Um, let's go ahead and move you up here, please. So apparently you can just fail those, which is annoying.
Who'd have known that ungoverned territory can put up such a fight against a modern naval invasion? Who'd have, who'd have thunk it? Either way, next. Uh, I would say, like, surprise, surprise, but literally nobody is surprised by the fact that they monetized it. It's just like um, training rooms. I would expect training rooms to end up being monetized as well. Hey, at least you got some good ships in there. I mean, Massachusetts, Black, uh, Asasio, and Flander. fleet's kind of a problem this fleet is kind of a problem what up dre glad you got to drop in uh this stream's probably almost over to be honest I'm getting pretty tired. I mean, we have ammo. But we already know what we're up against, so... We're just gonna have everybody retreat. Because these freaking heavy cruisers that are just doing 39 knots, we're not gonna be able to hit them. And I'm not looking forward to getting into a fight with a whole bunch of light cruisers dropping 700 torpedoes apiece. So we'll just pull back. I kind of find it funny how many torpedoes that they strap on a freaking ship in this game. Like, in reality, the ships generally ended up with, like, one or two quadruple launchers on them. And in this game, they've got, like, 30 goddamn torpedo launchers. Like, ah, this is the heavy cruiser, right? So apparently it's the light cruisers that, yeah, there's torpedo tubes and... There's two, there's three, there's a four, so there's, what, seven, eight, nine, nine torps just right there on each side of the ship. Now their destroyers don't even carry that many torps. What up, Mopar? Good to see you. Yeah, I, I don't think that they're going to add any sort of, like, uh, healing factors to the, to the game anymore. I think Will to Rebuild kind of showed it. Any sort of healing factor at all is kind of busted.
be nice if we could end this. I think we got to get to at least 2.30. Have a good night, Matthew. Appreciate you dropping in. Does the stream look good for you guys? That's one thing. I know it's three and a half hours in. Hopefully everything looks okay for you guys. Yeah, but Nelson's also balanced by having, like, no armor. A little bit different scenario. And I just want this to get to 2.30 so we can end this battle. Oh, you got Railroads Online? Norse? It's another game I need to try to, like, revisit and see what they got. It's just not as much fun when you're by yourself. It's so much more fun when you have somebody to play with. I mean, that's the whole point of it being online. Appreciate it, guys. Yeah, we got to get these guys back for repair now that we're not grabbing uh, Sardinia. What up, Obi? How's it going? Failed to gain control, but we managed to grab Eastern England. Ooh, we could take Gibraltar. That sounds like fun. Well, we're already here for that. God, I hate how long it takes. Hundred percent logistics. Let's see how far this reaches. Okay, we've got our foothold in eastern England. Let's go ahead and bring these guys down. We also took the Shetlands. Hopefully these guys will start launching, like, land battles against everybody. And then we'll bring these guys down to start uh, thinking about coming down here. Um, as for... This is Leviathan and Widowmaker. So it's you guys. You guys head back to Santa Cruz. Okay. So we unfortunately didn't manage to grab this. Send you guys over here as well. We'll keep these two over here and start working on trying to grab some of this land. Then hopefully we can grab that. And then start to maybe grab some of this 
Manchuria area, all of this. But I think for now, I think that's going to have to do. Like we've we've got a lot done in this episode. Like considering we managed to take Western Sahara finally, we managed to grab a foothold in uh, Eastern England, managed to grab Lervik up here or Lerwick up here in the Shetland. So we've we've gotten quite a bit done. Plus we've managed to completely annihilate still. The uh, Spanish, the Italians. Italians are getting kind of annoying with all their goddamn submarines and their stupid cruisers that are capable of doing 90 knots. But we'll deal with them soon enough. Soon enough, I say. All right. One more turn, and then we'll, I think we'll end here. I just want to see if the Gibraltar uh, conquest actually starts. Has this game gotten any better? Yeah, I mean, this game's gotten a lot better uh, in recent months. They've been really pushing on, like, fixing a lot of the bugs, uh, optimizing things, adding in some, some quality of life changes. They've done a lot. This year alone, they've done a lot in the last six months to uh, improve this game overall. So, you can't really complain. I mean, sure, there's still some, some seriously nagging issues that need to be addressed, but for the most part, they've done a pretty good job this year. Apparently everybody's building some new battle cruisers. A Moggy class battle cruisers, huh? Interesting. Some submarines. Here we have Solace, Widowmaker, and Leviathan. About to go up against some of these ridiculous friggin' fast heavy cruisers. Failure. Imagine that. The only I would love to go into this fight and actually do something, but these guys are just going to run. They literally are 39 knot heavy cruisers with 6 inch guns, and all they do is run away. So I'm just going to auto resolve this. Hope that we sink some of them. We took no damage, they took a lot of damage, but still alive. And despite us trying to, like, get out of this fight, these guys are still engaging us somehow. We lost one of our destroyers. We did some damage to them. We just we just got a new mine layer submarine, apparently. Bahrain was taken by Japan. How the hell did they get that? Still waiting for our guys to get up here to away Hawaii. Apparently the uh, conquest didn't actually happen with Gibraltar, which is kind of annoying. Hopefully these guys will start like taking some territory. That'd be nice. Get the rest of this under control. I mean, we 
we're almost up to making a billion dollars a month, <laughs> which is kind of crazy. Um, kind of crazy. Next month, we find out whether or not we finish this. Uh, we actually conquer Western Spain. I'm going to guess no, but I'm hoping yes. Uh, they made it a lot easier in Railroads Online. Um, you literally don't have to like lay groundwork and stuff a lot now. You just kind of go with it. Um, they've made that a lot easier. But yeah, it just takes time. It just takes time. The more you do something, the more you'll you'll get used to it. Did we take Western Spain? Come on, Western Spain. Okay, Japan and I have signed a peace agreement. Very nice. We'll just take your money. That's fine. Failed to take control of Western Spain. Surprise, surprise. I don't think anybody actually thought we were going to get Western Spain there. There's an ambush somewhere. Up here? What are the fucking Italians doing up here next to Wales? Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and add some uh, submarines. We'll build. Some of these. Build six of them. These six are going to be placed in... Um, cancel. Three of them should be placed... At Lerwick. The other three should be placed in Eastern Britain. Eastern England. Here we go. Those under control there. From a research standpoint, we're still going for some more uh, submarines. Mark 1 20 inch guns coming up. Nice. And we're eight months out from the new rangefinders, which is Radar 2. So that'll be nice. Which gives us what exactly? Gives us 200% uh, to tower spotting and gives us 165% gun aiming speed, 55% long range accuracy, all the goods. It's not a huge buff over what we get, but it's better than what we have. So, definitely going to be a buff. Uh, if we pull off of this, let's go with this real quick. Try to get that done. What is our available ship tonnage that we can actually... We're up to 813,000 tons of shipbuilding capacity. Hopefully this, this will allow us to capture some of this in the near future. Other than that, I think that's where we're going to end it today. I'm getting tired and I'm repeating myself about a million times. So uh, 
thank you guys so much for joining me. Uh, I know we're going to try to get back on track to doing these at least on Sundays, if not Sundays and Fridays. I'm also going to be looking into trying to get some other games out there, whether it be through VODs, View On Demand, or through streaming. Uh, let me know down in the comments if you guys want to see some farming sim or anything like that, uh, or that new creature lab that I was telling you guys about. Um, if that's something you guys are interested in, make sure you guys punch that like button. Leave a comment below. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and as always, I will see you in the next video.